Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard for yet another Epic Universe update and today, today it's going to be quite a good one especially as we get into the Dark Universe. But right now, we're going to go ahead and just kind of start off with the park entrance. It's not going to be a full update today, we're just going to talk about the park entrance, the um, Epic Universe, or Dark Universe, and Super Nintendo World today. Just a short one, but because uh, we just did one, but today's update so good, I couldn't wait. I definitely have to rush it out, so let's go ahead and get started. So, some noticeable progress has been popping over at the park entrance. The entrance itself is forming nicely with the security and ticketing areas all have concrete on them right now. You can see them as kind of, a, again, that dual entrance. It's a very symmetrical entrance there. And, yeah, they'll have sec security and ticketing in that same building. And this is also where the facial, recogni facial recognition technology will be coming into play big time as well as to be using that as your park ticket to get into the park and other in and out of the park as well as on rides and into each portal now also a lot of the park services will be located here as well such as guest services and lockers there's the main the main entrance lockers health um uh you know uh, what do you, uh, strollers anything that you need will be here info kiosks all that just like you see at the regular park entrances at the parks right now moving a little bit inland number three here as we can see one of the parks the, per the park's first water feature that you'll be encountered with and you can see some rebar being installed there as well and a lot of digging and pipes so it's to be a nice fountain feature that will be connected to all the rest of the fountains in the entire park at the park's main uh, water feature in the back near, near the Grand Helios Hotel where the show will be, this is where the park's, uh, the, the audience seating is really getting uh, stepped up and getting installed. Now you can see that stadium seating really getting uh, more definition and more bleacher, that bleacher style seating is actually, it's getting, looks like actual seats now. This is where our show will be going on every hour or so. Then the main nighttime show will uh, factor into this area as well with the fireworks, maybe drones, and all that cool stuff as well so it's nice to see this main show area starting to get installed but don't worry this one this won't be blocked off during the day you'll be able to sit here and eat and, and just hang out and vibe out if you're if the show is not going on because there'll be routine shows again like like every hour or so just a little fountain show something like the bellagio fountains in las vegas and yeah lastly here's another look at that water feature here in the front we can see some water water uh rebar and sand starting to be installed as well as uh, what will be a potential children's splash pad some of the elements for that being installed as well all righty so now we're moving on to the dark universe portion of this update and yeah this is uh the thumbnail for a reason look how gorgeous just gorgeous this entrance portal is it's not even done it still has to be topped off um so still there's some more elements coming but just what has been revealed with the scaffolding right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, let's take a 10 second moment of silence to really awe in the beauty of this. Ready? Let's go. Starting right now. Five. Wow. I hope you enjoyed that moment of silence Pond as much five. as I did. It's really taking the gorgeous view. I mean, look at those roots. We'll have another shot of the back later on, but wow, I mean, th this is like something to go on your wall. I I'm just very impressed by this portal entrance, and this is the first portal entrance that has been fully done and revealed, so if this is what we can expect from all the portals, yeah, uh, we're in for quite a treat, especially if the entire theming of this park will be just like this, we are in for quite the treat, and I cannot wait for more decorative elements to be installed here. Going through that beautiful entrance portal, we can see the back side of that as you come into the Darkmoor Village is looking pretty good as well. The roof on the structure, that little barn-like structure, that how gothic house type structure is done. And you'll go into the village which shelves lots of scaffolding, but lots more cement and concrete as well. The theme on this, now that the portal is done, should be coming in quickly in the next few weeks here. Speaking of entrances, all these entrances are being uh, formed now. And yeah. You can see the grand entrance to the Frankenstein Manor starting to form as well. Look at that. Um, you finally have that third gothic type triangle structure there. And the other ones are already 
obviously have been completed with the theming looking beautiful there but now we have the grand entrance here and i can't wait to see how this turns out over the next few weeks as it starts to shape up and with how fast they're going uh yeah this could be in the next our next update this could be substantially done or even completed so i'm excited to see how what the grand entrance to this e-ticket attraction will look like one more thing to note that little snack uh, concession stand next to the entrance to the man attraction is starting to be it's just about done it looks pretty uh cool that wacky uneven roof just like the rest of the land has and yeah i like the colors of this land and be a nice spot to hang out and get a grab drink for waiting a three hour line to pop into the man manor attraction and as promised one last look at those beautiful beautiful root structures to really in depth look thank you to bio reconstruct again for capturing all these fantastic photos but i'm interested how gorgeous that is i mean look at the detail that is absolutely incredible uh and it just got me like i was already excited for the park but this looking at this oh <laughs> yeah i can see why you guys voted monsters as your highly anticipated land in my twitter and youtube polls because uh yeah, this is this is incredible. This is like a literal piece of art. Just good job, Comcast Universal, and good job to the construction workers and the Universal Creative team for designing it. And construction workers for constructing it, and making this beautiful vision come to life. And lastly, here we're gonna pop over to Super Nintendo World, where it's been some decent amount of updates, including a big layer of gray paint. Um, that won't be the final you know, layer of paint, as you can see in the existing lands. But yeah. The next stage of construction here with these primer layers of paint are starting to form. As you can see, this big uh, gray area and the whole, all the built, all the walls in the land are now gray due to this next phase in the painting cycle. And which is super exciting because next time you'll see a whole bunch of thematic elements starting to form, which is pretty awesome. And you can see a familiar sight right here with Bowser's Castle starting to form as well you can see the castle walls that are all too familiar in japan and here in hollywood right there and even the first turret of the castle starting to be framed and yeah this is a super progress quite nicely and well you already know how it's gonna look like if you look at japan and hollywood version but it's always nice to see yet another version of super nintendo world coming and bowser's castle looking absolutely amazing Taking more overall look at the area you can see, or the land, you can see that, yeah, a lot of different portals and, and features of the land, and Toast Soul Cafe, and the one up Factory, and all, all these portals to entrance to different lands, and or to different shops and eateries in the land are starting to pop up, and, and you know, you know, entrance to mini games and all that good stuff. It's all starting to pop up, and we'll see even more of these features pop up every few weeks. And it just looks beautiful, and I can't wait to see they have the siding, the, dry, the drywall on there, but I can't wait to see it fully framed, fully themed, and fully painted. More ride vehicles on the track, of course, you can see the donkey. Earlier, we saw the Donkey Kong coaster of minecarts being doing a pull-through testing on the track. How to turn your dragon's vehicles are on the track. Now, Yoshi, yes, Yoshi's Omni Mover has vehicle, lots of vehicles on the track, all wrapped up. In plastic so we can't see them but also so they won't get dirty from the ongoing construction and dust surrounding them but yeah they're on the track and ready to go and there's quite a few already so i expect next update half the track or most of them will be filled up with these omni move vehicles moving up to the entrance portal you can see the exit each land will have a ground floor exit so you'll be again using facial recognition you can see you can only enter one land and exit one land using that facial recognition one way ex entry and one way exit the exit was not through the warp pipe there'll be a different warp pipe on the ground floor like there is right now at hollywood where you can just exit so everyone going up the escalator will be only entering and that is it but it looks great can't wait to see that warp pipe installed and some of the other elements of the escalator warp pipe installed that should be looking amazing Scooting over to Donkey Kong. Yeah, look at that. This area will have a big water feature, including a waterfall, and that is starting to form right now. That's that big concrete block that, with that little indent. That indent is where the waterfall is going to go. Japan's version does not have a waterfall, so this will be the only version of Donkey Kong in the world to have this wonderful water feature, which looks uh, beautiful and will really add to the ambiance of the land and the ride itself because we'll be going around that water feature. Um, the water feature again has gotten some concrete, and this is also where the main temple theming will go. 
right over that waterfall. So yeah, that uh, Donkey Kong Temple piece that was just recently installed in Japan. Then you'll be having the waterfall and the water feature of the ride as, as well as, con as fully formed concrete. And so it should be a big water bonanza. And the, those two water features may connect. Who knows? But yeah, this will be jumping over that pond. And the trick track will be in play as it, the real track will be down below. But yeah, it'll look like you're just going crazy because the fake track will be broken. But that is it for this Epic Universe update. Again, yeah, didn't cover all the lands, but I try to get try to cover stuff this week that we hadn't co covered last week, uh, since the last video was just so recently. But yeah, I definitely had to see uh, showcase some beautiful, beautiful portal engines. Let me know what you guys thought about the Super Nintendo World, Dark Universe, but especially that Dark Universe portal. Does it give you even higher hopes for all the other portals to look just as gorgeous? Let me know. In the comments below, subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 for early access to future Epic Universe videos, including this one, or and or YouTube membership for the same thing. You can click the join button for YouTube membership. You guys get a free pin and other cool perks and giveaways and early access and exclusive content to uh, the channel if you join, and it really just helps support. So thank you so much, and as always, have an epic day.